One of the World Rugby Under-20 Championship's most decorated alumni is South Africa's Andre Pollard. The 2014 Junior Player of the Year played in three championships from 2012 to 2014, where his performances gave a clear indication of the player he would become. Andre Pollard, unbelievable in the test match rugby, really strong and powerful for a player. As a flop, it's probably your biggest job is to lead the boys in the right direction. And that is a fantastic conversion from Andre Pollard. Every match is absolute war, so now you've got to get that little edge that gets you to the number one spot we're all going for. Once again, he delivers for South Africa. Last time around, we, we had a very old team with a lot of experience. So for me as a youngster, it was pretty simple. You just get in your place, do your job well, and, and keep quiet. Where this time around, I'm probably one of the more senior guys in the squad, so I've got a different role and a bit more responsibility, but it's something I enjoy. So I'll take that into consideration with the preparation. But we'll all we'll put in what you can, and that's the big goal. Everybody wants to win the World Cup, so all the planning goes into that. Uh, our planning has been a bit shorter because we, we swap coaches in between, so we know this is really out of time, so we try to do as much as we can as quickly as possible. So listen, we've got, we got four games left before the World Cup, so come June, July, when we hit the shorter championship, we're heading into the World Cup, but everybody's firing at 100%. My manager just asked me, what's my plans for December? So I said, uh, I'll rest firstly. And then he said, uh, wouldn't you like to be part of the Barbarians? And I said, of course, yes. I mean, it's an unbelievable honor to be part of a, the club and, uh, and to take part in such a great tradition of, of world rugby. I've always told my wife, if, if I get the opportunity, please, just get, let, me, let me go. It's something you, you, as a young guy, you always dreamt of. You always watch your heroes playing in the black and white hoops. And uh, now to get the opportunity is unbelievable. It's much more chilled, of course, and it's, it's actually a bit weird. It's playing with the guys you play against all season. You go to war, try and take each other's heads off, and now your teammates uh, get to know each other off the field, which is good. And that's what, what, it's, what it's about. I mean, rugby is about making friendships and, uh, and enjoying it. Myself, I, I'm chilled, so for me, it's just awesome to get to know each other. Uh, I think some guys will probably look at each other and be like, I'd love to get one back at you. But uh, for me, I'm, I'm pretty chilled, so it's, it's, it's really enjoyable getting to know each other. I think we went into that game, not a lot of people gave us a shot. That was a, that was a chat the whole week, just about believing anything can happen in the night. So uh, we went into that game knowing it's going to take 80 minutes, and it went 84, I think. It was a great team effort uh, defensively. I thought we, we were very good that day. Overall, what it did for us as a team confidence-wise, and uh, for, for the people back home as well, to get them behind the box again, it was one of our big goals. So I thought that that really helped a lot, and uh, well, we just got to take it forward. Anything in rugby last seven days. We went back, we had a couple of days off, and we, we had the Aussies in, in PE again. So that's how it is. Uh, you try to enjoy that, that small moment in the dressing room after a big one like that. I think that's the most special part of it. And then you get on with the job. As a fly off, you have to be a bit more vocal than, than the rest of the guys. You've got a, a lot of decisions to make. But we've got great leaders in our team, you know, CR being a new captain and guys like Dwayne Yebin, who's got almost 80 tests now. And try and be as vocal as we can, but uh, not unnecessarily vocal, if you know what I mean. We've got a nice senior group of players uh, with a lot of experience, and then decision makers always try myself and Billy uh, and Faf when he plays. No, he loves a chat. I'll be the first one to tell you that. So, no, it's good. I think you know, it's got to be as vocal as he possibly can, uh, especially with the force. You know, they get tired. You've got to lead them and steer them in the right direction, and having a nine just makes the team's job so much easier when he does that. So, he's grown a lot as a player. He's always been quick and always had the X factor, but now he's got a, he's got a kicking game as well. And, uh, awesome playing with Faf, enjoying it, and uh, hopefully, you can just keep doing what he's doing because it's clearly working. There's a lot of young guys with a lot of talent. It really can put a lot of pressure on the more senior guys. I think of a guy like Ampiwe, just the way he came in, the rookie of the year. Unbelievable season, unbelievable talent, just out of nowhere. So we'll look after him well and try to get the best out of him. He's also got a few challenges now going into next year. Now everybody knows him. Guys like Sabu, he's also a real threat in the right wing for us. And then Chesley and Colby, guys like that coming through. I mean, it's really promising for us. It really gets us excited because if there's competition in the group, healthy competition, it's the best thing for a squad, so that's awesome. Thank you